Hi everyone, I'm Jake, and I'm going to show you how to integrate the Mimic Pro animation system with an existing VR pawn in Unreal Engine 5. So first off, I've just got the default VR template in here with the Mimic Pro content folder. And first thing I'm going to do is open the VR pawn that Unreal Engine provides, and I'm going to get rid of those floating hands and the XR visualization devices because we don't need them. We're going to have a full body. First thing I'm going to do after that is make sure this is structured properly. So I'm going to add a new scene component, which is going to be our actor's root because we don't want the VR origin to be the root of the actor. And then I'm going to add a skeletal mesh, which is going to be our main player's mesh. And I'm just going to use the mannequin from the Mimic Pro folder. So that's how it should be organized. You should have the actor root, then the VR origin, which has your motion controllers and your camera childed to it, and then also the skeletal mesh, which is not a child of the VR origin. We're getting some errors here. That's because it's trying to animate the hands that no longer exist. So I'm going to delete that and then look at our input mapping contexts. So this IMC hands was just for animating the floating hands. So we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna replace it with my VR body input mapping context. I'm gonna set the priority to one, just so there's no conflicts. And something you might have to do, depending on your version, is consider this mappable input config for XR. This will override inputs and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't like it. I don't know why it's there. I also haven't researched it, but just clearing that so it's set to none seems to make life so much better. So I'd suggest doing that. And then I'm going to add our VR body component, which is what handles all of the animation logic. I'm gonna give it the set references function so we can give it references to everything it needs to animate the body. So our camera, our controllers, the skeletal mesh, and the VR origin. Now if I press play, we should have a animated body. No finger animations yet, but we should be able to teleport, move around, grab things, and interact with them like normal. Perfect. So now we just need to add finger animation and a way to calibrate. And I'm literally just going to grab those from my example character blueprint. So this is the finger animation block. You just paste it in here. And then same for the calibration function. It will trigger when we click in our left thumbstick. So now our fingers are animating just as expected, we can teleport, I can calibrate my height and my arm length, and interact with everything just as expected. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions or concerns, my contact information is in the description. Thank you.